we are asked to simplify and write the result in the form a plus bi. Looking at the expression, notice how because we have negative numbers under the square roots, we know we have imaginary numbers where i is equal to the square root of negative one. To begin, let's write the square root of negative seven as the square root of negative one times seven. Let's write the square root of negative four as the square root of negative one times four. And let's write the square root of negative two as the square root of negative one times two. And now let's simplify. Again, we know the square root of negative one is i, and the square root of seven doesn't simplify. The numerator simplifies to the square root of seven i. And now in the denominator, again, the square root of negative one is i, the square root of four is two. This simplifies to two i. So we have two i times, simplifying the square root of negative two, the square root of negative one simplifies to i, the square root of two doesn't simplify, this simplifies to square root two i. And now let's multiply the denominator. Two i times square root two i gives us two square root two i squared. But remember, i squared is equal to negative one, so if this is equal to negative one, two square root two times negative one is negative two square root two. So this gives us square root seven i divided by negative two square root two. Notice we have this negative in the denominator. We can move this negative out in front of the fraction or even up into the numerator because we know a positive divided by a negative is negative. But this isn't quite simplified because we're not allowed to have this square root two in the denominator. In order for the square root of two to simplify perfectly, we would need to have two factors of two under the square root, and therefore to simplify further, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of two. Again, by multiplying both the top and bottom by the square root of two, we are not changing the value, just the form. So again, we know the result is going to be negative. Multiplying in the numerator, square root seven i times square root two gives us square root 14 i. In the denominator, we now have two times the square root of two times two, or four, and the square root of four is equal to two, so we have negative square root 14 i divided by two times two, or four. So this is the simplified expression in the form a plus b i, where a, the real part, would be zero, and b, the coefficient of i, is negative square root 14 divided by four. So if we wanted to, we could also rewrite this as negative square root 14 divided by four i. This is equivalent to having the i in the numerator. I hope you found this helpful.